Hi, welcome to Arch Labs. It's a tutorial about making Arch Labs 4.0, a personal one for customization for my own, and which is called Nemesis. So on my GitHub, on Eric Duport GitHub, you'll find a link there, and it has all the files and scripts that I need after installation of any Arch Labs version, currently being 4.0. I've written an article, ericdubois.pe, there on that website, there's an article how to proceed. We've done already an installation of the root level script, so let's take a look. We have here on the 2 our file manager in the data folder, Arch Labs Nemesis. So we've installed all these ones and as well these ones, and now we're going inside this one. Now, when we open our terminal, so right mouse click terminal or any shortcut will do, you have now this uh, strange thing here, oh my ZSH. I ran this one, install ZSH, so we're now working on another uh, bash, not bash, but another shell theme. And let's show you if I successfully can type a dollar sign. We show you what shell we're on, so we're on ZSH. Each time I open a terminal, Control alt t it will give me an other kind of color. Sometimes the difference is small and sometimes the, the difference is big. So Lambda, uh, Steve, uh, and, and EYS and so on. So all kind of different themes. What we have lost now, I see, is our NeoFetch that's standard uh, activated in Bash. Control H solves this quickly. So in the ZSHRC or this one, let's take a look where we should put it. I think the best place to put it is in here, ZSHRC, just put in the end here, new fetch, so that we have a pop-up when we press Ctrl T, then we have this little uh, no notification, okay, we're working on the latest Arch Labs 4.0, we have the latest uh, kernel already installed, and ZSHS shell, open box, arc, hollow dark, sardine ball, new mix, these kind of things. New mix meaning indeed the new mix icon theme, so it's gonna be yellow like so. Let's clean the trash and then you'll see everything changes nicely. Right, so we have this folder, this file manager folder here, and we go to our control H, we don't want to see all that, the data and Arch Lab Nemesis, and we've done all these, so now it's up to this one personal. Let's use your shortcuts. Oh, let's put shortcuts on. So, super shift D. I have this little program for you guys, screen key. And when I press now my buttons, like Windows keypad 4, it's like so. Right mouse click, open terminal here, Windows 6, like so. And now we're off to run all these, okay? So I'm gonna explain you what they are, what I, why I do it. And these scripts here, often going to copy paste the settings from these folders here. So everything has been copy pasted in here. So mostly, generally speaking, we're getting files from the hidden folder .config and copy pasting it uh, from here to the .config folder. So that's what's going on mostly. Let's have a look here, install person in settings folder version 2, these are all checks. If icons is not installed, uh, the directory I mean, if the directory does not exist, then make the directory, this directory does not exist, then make the directory and so on. So if, if it exists, nothing happens and that's that. Um, so it's um, an easy way for me to make, uh, quickly make all these directories that I always want to make and if you have to um, install them every time you install a new Linux system, then it's getting bored. So I make a little script here that's just going to add some folders. If the folder is there, do nothing else, create. Same applies for this one, but this is more open uh, box, um, um, link to open box. So things like Genie, Termite, Tin2 are, uh, well, for specifically for this one. And if it is existing, it is, if it does exist, the same applies here. Do nothing, otherwise make a folder 
Okay, what's this? Personal settings folder. There we have all, also of always these folders here to the left. And at this point in time, there are almost none, of, none there. So I always take the same folders and why not just copy paste them over so I don't need to make them again. So here they are, all the folders that I always use. There they are. So these are my personal bookmarks uh, that are being copy pasted. Since I'm writing most of the time for um, eric2.pe, I need the GPGs because the GPG is rather 300, 400 kilobytes and the same image is 2, 3 megabytes. Being a PNG, I know PNG is beautiful, but I do have limited web space. I'm going to install this one for website purposes. So if you don't have this problem, of course, you don't need to install it. So what is going to do? Uh, making sure GNOME screenshot saves as GPG, so that's done, but it's not installed yet. No such scheme. So actually, I really need to install it first. So it's not been installed as of yet. So you know what to do. GNOME screenshot. And there we go. It's now installed. It's already um, made sure that it's um, GPG. So you can start it by typing GNOME and then screenshot. And you'll see what I mean. I mistyped, I guess. Ah, it's an interactive, you better use dash interactive so you see what's happening. This one, you know, maybe uh, select an area, okay, take screenshot, well, that's the screenshot. And I want this to be PNG, so now it's still uh, PNG, GP, I want it to be GPG, it's still PNG. Got it. So, I'm running at it again, and let's show you what is the difference so select an area uh, uh, up, up and now it's gpg so that's what i want to have a gpg version from green no screenshot rather than editing it with gimp and, and so on and so on no here we can have the personal settings for gimp so there are extensions a shadow extension arrow extension themes and all that it's going to be copy pasted to GIMP and next time I start I have everything there. My personal settings for Sublime Text which is at this point in time not much but it's there if I want to add something it's gonna be easy to copy paste. I have also my personal variety configuration file which I want to have and keep and always set it again and again and again. I was tired of setting it all the time so I'm gonna copy paste my config file to the dot config variety folder and there it is then the 645 i'd better check what this one is oh yeah so this is not needed it's gonna copy paste my theme i like with the theme the way it is so themes are things you change here here and here and uh, there so if you don't want to change anything, don't run this. I don't want to change it. So I'm gonna keep it the way it is. 670 um, is actually not needed anymore or might be needed. So the MIME apps is a link. You link docx to Word. You link uh, XLS X to Excel. Okay, so the same applies here. MP3, you, you link it to Clementine, to Tetby or anything else. So that's that linking the MIME apps. Well, at this point in time, I have added most of my MIME apps to Arch Labs 4.0. So this in, in practice, I can actually delete it. So we're gonna get rid of it for now. And let's go to 680. Well, uh, Arch Labs 4.0 needs, uh, uses its own look. I prefer to have an arc look, so I want to have a bluish background rather than this brownish gray. So I'm gonna copy paste my termite version. Let's put, let's show you what this is. This is the standard Arch Labs. And when I copy paste this one over, I'm gonna do it again. 
I have this bluish kind of look and I prefer to have my font a little bit bigger since I am using uh, glasses here and uh, the colors a bit brighter and all that so this is my kind of look for termites which I prefer to use so that's um, this one the same applies for new fetch maybe we should open it again um, this is new fetch the standard one but there is also a 695 new fetch so I copy paste my config file over do it again and I have a little bit bigger my new fetch has some more um, space above here I put it a bit down a bit to the right and a little bit more information like the, what kind of GPU CPU GPU terminal font and all these questions people ask me on Google Plus well there you have it that's my font and all that all right so that's also taken care of we have this one this one is because of the the dark themes I use um, there is a little CSS script behind it when you start Firefox Fox, some of the pages when you have to type something you can't read it because you're typing black on black then this little program little script here little CSS file is going to fix that and now we can read um, some of the pages we can read it all right so that's that here we have the same uh, personal settings urxvt so if we run these things urxvt that's this kind of look so this is the look for for March Labs and there again we have this look for xterm and urxvt so xterm as well Voila, I've made them all look the same but when I'm when working my own system the nemesis system then I like to have a different kind of look different kind of um, color so I'm gonna use this script here to change the files that I want and let's go at it, at it again so urx vt is this kind of look I'll have to fix it because it's not the look I wanted as you can see it's still more or less the same and xterm as well let's see if this has changed okay so these two are on my to-do list they should be more or less like this one bluish so to do then the uh, personal settings xfc tuner let's have a look what this was again yeah that has been imported inside iso 4.0 we can skip this one and this is a personal setting our dark open box version one that is uh, some kind of little script little change in the menu so we have this menu here with no border and i believe the one here is the one with a border but i rather like the one without a border so gonna not gonna install this one and this one is the preferred applications we can get rid of that as well what is this that is this is just launching um, where is it this one that script only launches this application so you can decide straight away I want to have that and then that and be done with it 760 install Oriola Acres version 3 is gonna get we can go get delete Ooh, la, la. we can delete this as well because we have installed it now it's part of uh, Oriola Conkey so this Conkey we're looking at is just uh, easily activated Conkey is Eric quickly activated here so the Oriola Acres Conkey is there it's already available and that's fine then um, the custom tuner custom actions can be deleted as well they've been included in ISO version 0 so that's fine as well and what leaves us is fixing so we are already run this ran this one this is our icon theme for um, simple screen recorder but you need to fix them because otherwise it's an ugly red icon I think it is and uh, this one is also an old icon let's see 
uh, sublime text if we do it now we get a nice logo up here otherwise it's something orange and black so i just wrote a little script here to fix those two icons and be done with it and that's basically it so we have now a well a different kind of arch labs a more personalized arch labs nemesis and that's all there's to it so alt t remember don't like the wallpaper just use alt n for instance for the next one and that's better to conclude our tutorial so this is now the latest tutorial we have changed the personal settings like for instance this termite has a new look and uh, other things like the bookmarks that i always have to create so no i don't have to create them they're here and i can use them straight away have fun uh, making uh, arch labs your own that's important